We are now learning the cause of death for a boy who participated in a spicy tortilla chip challenge. The ban of ramen noodles was prompted by a consumer who wondered why the products were legal. Getting these noodles down is the challenge. <coughs> Taxation. Are you a spicy food enjoyer? Do you love getting that little burn on your tongue? Maybe you like to, you know, live life on the edge a little bit. I love spicy food personally, but sometimes companies go a little too far in the race for capsation and making a product that is just absolutely satanic and nuclear. I'm sure you've seen all of the spicy food trends that have come up over the years, all of the challenges, the mukbangs, all that type of stuff. And today we're gonna to be diving into the darker side of spicy food and how it could potentially be getting banned nationwide. Who knows? Let's, let's jump right into the story here. I think it all really started uh, with this story here. So we're all familiar with Pocky and the one chip challenge. Let's see how many challenges they've actually had. There have been seven iterations of the Pocky one chip challenge, guys. Uh, ranging from blue to green to red to yellow. They've done every single color on the chart. Uh, presumably, the chips get spicier and spicier. And the idea is you eat the chip, one bite, everyone knows the rules, and you just try to survive. You try to live through it. As you can see, like, look at this person. Horrible. And it says experts warn against it. This is the blue one. I don't even know what this is about, but this, this kid is like going through it, I think. <laughs> It looks like at least. But it all really came to a head last month when a young teen decided to do the one chip challenge and unknowingly to him, he had a pre-existing heart condition. It caused him to pass away, unfortunately. It's pretty sad. We got a little news article here, so let's jump into what went down. An update tonight. We are now learning the cause of death for a boy who participated in a spicy tortilla chip challenge. The chief medical examiner's office in Massachusetts says the 14-year-old died of a high chili consumption which triggered a heart attack. The teen who had a congenital heart defect was attempting Pocky's ultra spicy one chip challenge last September. He ate a tortilla chip seasoned with both the Carolina Reaper pepper. Where do these peppers even come from, man? Like this really is a race. Like people are always engineering spicier and spicier peppers. I never even heard of a Naga Viper pepper. Have you? Like I thought Carolina Reapers and ghost peppers were like the top, but apparently not. They keep getting spicier and spicier here, and that could be a problem, who knows? Medical examiner's office report, the chip contained a high concentration of capacitation, the naturally spicy occurring lady. chemical in chili peppers, which can affect the heart. The company voluntarily pulled it off the shelves following the boy's death. Good on Pocky. Um, you know, my heart goes out to the family of the child who passed away. It's really unfortunate that something like this happened and it goes without saying guys, do not try any of these spicy chip challenges or anything spicy if you have a heart condition or any type of condition that could really cause complications due to the capsation. So it's good on Pocky. They immediately pulled the item from the market. They made a recall. They weren't trying to play defense. And you know, it's crazy that I'm even saying that, but I feel like nowadays, especially with these viral companies that are like so uh, influenced by YouTube and social media and stuff I feel like they would just put up a fight and be like yeah we're leaving it on the market however I believe that this triggered lawmakers in Denmark to start banning spicy food period and one instance of that was this a popular instant noodle brand just executed a first-of-a-kind product recall because it's found too spicy for Europeans what like they're literally like it's too spicy nobody can have it now I get like in the light of things this is a horrible situation but are we able to ban spicy food outright like maybe there should be some sort of age restriction it could be an age restricted product but they're banning it outright guys I'm sure you guys have all seen this uh, ramen before the bull dak I don't know if I'm saying that right bull dak it's the hot chicken ramen and a lot of youtubers are out here doing spicy ramen challenges with this very one. And it comes in three different variants, 1X spice, 2X spice, and 3X spice. So let's read which what, what went down, which ones are getting the ban. Dude, I gotta sign up for a subscription. I was reading this earlier, I don't understand. All right, Washington Post, here we come. Super spicy ramen noodles recalled in Denmark over health risks. 
The instant noodles can be dangerous because they contain too much capsaicin and can hurt kids, officials say. Yeah, honestly, they're, they are mar definitely marketed to a younger audience, so that argument could definitely hold water. On social media, kids and plenty of adults often challenge one another to eat super spicy foods in feats of nose running, eye watering endurance. But Danish authorities are warning about the potential health risks of some of the hottest ramen noodles popular in such videos and recently issued a recall of three very uh, varieties of instant noodles for containing too high of levels of capsation. It's just too much, guys. The Danish officials pulled from shelves Bulldak 3x spicy hot chicken, 2x spicy hot, and their hot chicken stew, all made by the South Korean based brand Samyang, and urged people who have purchased them to toss them in the garbage or and or return them to the store. They cautioned that those products each contain a higher level of spice than the chip that led to reportedly sickening several children in Germany. So I guess it is directly linked to this chip. This is honestly the first time I'm hearing a direct connection to the chip, but it seems like it's correlated 100%. It's unclear whether those chips are the same as the one that a Massachusetts teenager died after eating while participating in the viral one chip challenge at school. An autopsy later revealed that the boy died of a heart attack in the setting of ingesting high levels of capsaicin and that he had underlying heart problems. Pocky, the maker of the chips, which came packaged in coffin shaped boxes, quickly did discontinue them. The Danish regulator noted in a statement accompanying the recall that children and frail adults are particularly vulnerable and that symptoms of capsation poisoning can include burning and discomfort, nausea, vomiting, and high blood pressure. The ban of ramen noodles was prompted by a consumer who wondered why the products were legal. The DTU Food Institute has now assessed the products and the conclusion the noodle packets are harmful to health. The statement reads, anyone who has already eaten the product and had not suffered a bad reaction was fine, they said, but the officials urged anyone with symptoms to contact poison control. An email to Sam Yang seeking comment was not immediately returned. We understand that the Danish food authorities recalled the product, not because of a problem in their quality, but because they were too spicy, the company told the BBC. While spicy food eating challenges have been around for decades, their rising popularity online and particularly among young people who are among the most vulnerable to potential negative side effects has worried health officials and parents. There have been other reports in the U.S. of children getting sick from the Pocky chips with, uh, with complaints of vomiting, eye irritation, difficulty breathing, and other symptoms. Late last year, Czech officials halted the production in the country of similar chip products that were sold with a pair of rubber gloves for handling. What do you guys make of all of that? Do you think that spicy food should just be outright banned? Or do you think that, you know, we should have the autonomy to make that decision? Pocky has put like clear warning labels on the back of their chips, to my knowledge. And, um, you know, I guess for kids, it's just like, maybe that's not enough. Maybe outright banning this stuff is the best move. But we've, oh, it's been kind of a race to get to the hottest pepper, hottest chip. And maybe we've just reached that climax point, guys. So that was in Denmark that these uh, new noodles were banned, but I am living out here in America. So I ordered some of these noodles, guys, and I'm gonna try them out. I like spicy food, let's see what it's all about. <laughs> so let's go. Alrighty, y'all, we are here. We got our steaming hot Boldak ramen on deck. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely stalled this a little bit. This is probably like three days after I filmed the original video. I've been having like stomach issues, bro, and today is no exception to that. So I'm just like biting the bullet here, hoping that this just cleanses me, just flushes the system out. Before we jump into eating this, which I'm excited for, honestly, I think it's gonna be a vibe. Uh, I just wanna talk about the ramen itself. So you guys know it's halal. <laughs> and um, uh, nowhere on the bag is there a warning. So a little questionable. Maybe throw a warning on there. Maybe like something that says like, yo, this is spicy AF. Instead of just putting a flame on uh, this chicken guy whose name is Hochi. He's a Bulldak trade character. Another thing, I bought this on Amazon. I thought this was the spiciest one. I thought this was the 3X. I'm pretty sure this is probably the uh, mildest of the three that were banned, but that's all right. You know, I guess we're just dipping our toes in today. It still supposedly is pretty spicy, and this is one of the ones that got banned. It's just that this isn't 2X or 3X heat. But let's jump into it, guys. So I got my ramen here all cooked. Um, they want you to throw in a little extra water for the sauce, I guess. 
So then we got the sauce itself right on top here. Let's just incorporate this. Throw it right in, baby. Boom. Watch this, guys. Here's a little life hack for you. If you want to get all of your Boldak sauce out, when will you be in this situation? You just use your chopsticks like this and then go. Look at that, baby. Uh, that kind of sucked, actually. Now there's all Boldak sauce on my shit. All right, let's mix it around. Get it all co-mingled. This looks very small, you know? For some reason, like, the bag is huge. I thought this was gonna be, like, a huge portion of ramen here. It smells really good, honestly. I just got home from work, and I have not eaten anything, so this is gonna be a vibe, or maybe not, but I feel like it's gonna be a vibe, dude. All nice and mixed. All nice and incorporated. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the, the steam coming off of this kind of gave me a little, it choked me a little bit. I don't know if that's a little warning sign. There's also a bag of flakes, so we're gonna put that on top, but I also got a hard boiled egg, because why not, dude? You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Get a little protein into the meal. It's a vibe. I wanna get this in the bulldog sauce, too. Get the eggs nice and spicy. See what it's all about. All right, boom, bam, bam. Let's flake it up. I don't know what this flake shit is. <laughs> I think it's probably just like dried nori or whatever. It's like nori and sesame seeds. All right, ew, this is lit. I'm honestly stoked for this. I feel like this is gonna be a vibe. I don't know if it's focusing, but whatever. It kind of looks like vomit in a bowl, but it's gonna be lit. All right, guys, without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's see what it's all about. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Definitely hits you immediately. It's very spicy, it's tingly. Good flavor though. It's starting to hit the back of my throat. <clears throat> the noodles are a vibe too. Like this ain't no cheap ass ramen, dude. They're doing what they're doing. This is honestly getting me though, holy shit. We're just gonna down this entire bowl and see what happens. Let's go in for the egg. Damn, if this is the entry level one, I gotta say, I have no idea what the 3X could possibly be. If you guys want me to try it, comment down below and I will order it and we'll do it. I mean, after that initial bang, like if you like spicy food, this is a vibe, dude. I can tell like this is gonna hurt my lips more than anything. Like my lips are already getting like mad fiery. All right, it's definitely getting spicy. Uh, I should pour myself a glass of milk first. Let's go in for another bite, guys. We have to clear this bowl. It hurts on entry, bro. Like, my lips are, like, the most sensitive right now. Holy. God damn. <laughs> I'm falling apart, dude. It's happening fast. I don't know how these competitive eaters are doing this because my lips are raw as hell right now. To get these noodles down is the challenge. Like, eating them's fine. But my lips, dude, <coughs> it's all happening too fast. My nose is starting to run. Man, maybe I should renege on the 3X, guys. Don't comment. <laughs> no, I'll do it if you want, but damn, that will be a challenge for sure. Oh, my lips right now, dude. Oh my God, dude. This is gonna be bad. See, I edited the video beforehand. I knew this would probably be really bad if I tried editing like this. All my orifices are leaking. <laughs> Oh man, my eyeballs, my nose, my lips. All right, we're like at the last bite here. Oh my God. All right. The bowl is clear. I am a wreck right now. I'm leaking everywhere. This is the entry level one? Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Is this the entry level one? Denmark may be right. Maybe we do need to ban this shit. I need to get closer. Look at my lips, bro. I'm wearing like lipstick right now. What is happening? <sighs> my eyeballs are like leaking a little bit. My nose. It's really got my lips. I need to drink some milk. Oh my God, dude. Instant relief. My eyes are getting so watery though. It's weird, honestly. This tastes smoky for some reason. I don't know if it's like the ramen flavor conflicting with this, 
It tastes like a smoky cheese in a cup. <laughs> I'm losing it. I just wanna like let my lips sit in this for a little bit. All right, so that was that, dude. Like, whoa. <laughs> I like spicy food, but that was a little crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I can't imagine what the 3X is like if I'm right. If this is the entry level one, the 3X one is straight up like somebody summoned Satan into the kitchen and they concocted this shit up. I'm gonna throw it back to people are in the uh, in the room, dude. Oh my God, I'm dying. Ah! All right, I have no idea how that went. Hopefully it was all right. I'm sure I'm gonna be all right, but uh, hopefully I'm not like dripping sweat from my eyeballs or anything like that while I'm editing this video, guys. That's gonna do it for today's video. Comment down below what you think. Do you like spicy food? If you guys want a noodle packet, I got a ton now. So honestly, maybe I'll send like two or three of them out. Comment down below, uh, give me the noodle, okay? And maybe I'll pick you and I'll send them out. I don't know, I gotta clear it with legal first but that's gonna do it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did definitely consider hitting that bell and subscribing i post three times a week so you want to get into the loop join the people our army and make it a part of your weekly schedule if you guys have something that you want me to react to you could always dm your boy people are on instagram at the people are just send something my way and if i think the story is gonna really work for you guys i'm gonna talk about it that's gonna do it for today's video i am your boy people are it's been real guys be well and peace.